So this present scene, this this moment, this movement. I th we 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 talk about being in the moment, don't we? But I think a better word is is being in being in the movement. Because often when we think about the moment, you know, there's a lot of spiritual teachings now, you know, popular talking about being in the moment. The way the mind hears that is that, oh, the, okay, so I have to be in this thing called the moment. <laughs> How do I get there? <laughs> How do I stay there? How do I stop myself from falling out of the moment? So that, that becomes the new goal. Because the, as, as we'll see today, the, the mind is ingenious. It will turn anything, I mean anything, and I really mean anything. And I really mean anything <laughs> into a goal. It's ingenious. Even even the moment, being present, that, that becomes the new goal. Uh, I remember, I remember years ago when I was a very 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 serious spiritual seeker, desperately trying to become enlightened. That that had become my new goal was was being in the moment, and you know I was really exa I was exhausting myself trying to trying to get in the moment, trying to trying to stay in the moment, and. Because the the way the mind sees the moment is like a tiny little um, slice slice of time, a tiny little piece of time, sam like sandwiched in between, stuck in between the the giant um, chunk of past and the giant chunk of future. We 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 see the moment as like a tiny little sliver of time. So then we have to try and squeeze ourselves into that, <laughs> and we don't fit. And then it just it just starts to ease, so easily it just starts to feed this story as oh I you know I was doing so well today I, I was in the moment for about an hour and then I <laughs> I was doing so well I was really in the moment but then I but then I fell out of it and and I can't seem to get back into it and like what's wrong with me and my my friend Jim he he's in the moment today you know I. I wish I was like him. And that, that, that Eckhart Tolle guy, he, I bet he's in the moment 24-7, you know. He, oh, what's wrong with me? Why can't I be in the moment? I can't, I can't even be in the moment. I've, I could, I've failed. I give up. I give up. <laughs> of course, the irony is all of that is happening in the moment. You can't actually, you can't actually, <laughs> even the giving up, you know. Even the frustration and the, even the disappointment and even the despair, even feeling far away from the moment, far away, even feeling when you feel far away from where you think you should be, even that, that longing to be, so, even that is actually happening. It's actually already held in the moment. The moment doesn't abandon you. The moment is never really far away. The present scene is never really far away. It's what's happening, right? It's what's happening. When you, you go to the cinema and you and you're and you're watching a movie with with a friend and you're sitting there for two hours and you're completely involved in this movie and the drama and the the highs and the lows and the the challenges and the times of the frightening times and the joyful times and you're so involved in the story and the the story of change and the past the story of the past and the future and where are you where's the character going and where have they come from and where are they going and you get so involved in the story. And then the movie finishes and the credits roll and the lights come up. And at that point, what you never do, okay, you've never done this, you never turn to your friend and you say, wow, that, that screen was incredible. Did, did you see that screen? And your friend is like, what are you, what are you talking about? Weren't, weren't you watching the movie? And, and you, like, you, you, you don't say, well, that 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 screen. Don't, did did you see the screen? I mean, the the way it the way it just was there. It it was just. <laughs> this is why I've lost all of my friends. <laughs> or at least no one asked me to go to movies with. Them. Did did you see that screen? It was just it was just present. It was just there throughout all the changes, the highs and the lows, the frightening scenes, the joyful scenes. The scenes of pain, the scenes of excitement, the scenes of boredom. It was just present. It just, it didn't change, it didn't move, it didn't go anywhere. It was just there. 
you didn't leave even at the even in the midst of the, the very frightening scenes it didn't leave it didn't abandon the scene it's like it was there the whole time allowing you could say it was it was holding the movie it was allowing the movie of course without the screen there can't be a movie without the movie there can be a screen but without the screen there can't be a movie so it's like the the one essential thing is the one thing we always forget the screen itself which is a one i mean a wonderful metaphor for for who you truly are that unchanging presence that's that sense of i am that sense of here here grounded here here now the, that's really that's really um what goes to the heart of suffering at the heart of suffering is this kind of awful sense that i'm in the wrong scene that's that's really i think that's a great definition of suffering this this is this awful kind of sense of like disconnection from the source disconnection from life disconnection from the beloved disconnection from presence presence because this is where you live right here you've always had that sense you've always had that even since even since you were a kid you've always had that sense i i am here even if you couldn't put it into words that that sense, underlying everything you've always had that that sense i am i exist i am here that sense of being here which kind of comes before language it comes before words it comes before all our clever concepts and answers and it's it's something so simple so basic we often forget it so there's this other kind of enlightenment which isn't a destination anymore it's not one day i'll become enlightened or it's not it, we're going beyond that whole paradigm of oh i'm enlightened and you're not and i'm so much more enlightened than you and you know the enlightened teacher sits at the front and teaches the students how to become enlightened one day if you try hard enough or if you follow me or if you're lucky enough i think that's the old paradigm and it's like walking someone else's path anyway you're 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 sick of that walking someone else's path wanting to be like someone else